Hello everybody, my name is Marlo and welcome back to the Ripple Effect server. Now we are currently in a place that I don't think I've ever shown on camera before. This is the public Badlands mining area set up by Mad Cat towards the start of the season. And despite the whole purpose of this area to be absolutely destroyed <laughs> uh, and desolated for all your terracotta needs, I think it could use prettying up a little bit if that makes sense. So I've got a house slash building design done in a creative world that I'm really excited to show you guys. I just need to think of a place to build it and I'm thinking over here I just might need to lower the terrain a little bit. You know I'm really surprised you don't take damage when walking over this. I mean look at that blade turn it's going fast that seems very dangerous to just step on it. Um, although farm wise it's probably going to be really overpowered if that was a thing so maybe for the best but uh yeah so i've lowered the ground here a bit and i've also done the outline of the building as you can see really not looking too done at the moment i've still got the rest of it to do which i will get to right now but uh yeah i'd say size wise that's pretty good leaves us some room to sort of landscape the floor around here and yeah fits on quite nicely i would say Okay, so the exterior of the building is now complete, and I gotta say, I really like the blocks we've used here. The acacia planks and logs and the um, stone bricks and the white terracotta is a godsend. Uh, I did originally design this to be all acacia wood planks, like where you see the white terracotta. It was going to be orange as well, and that would have just been way too much. Um, yeah, I, I really like how this has turned out. There's no real good spot to check out from, I don't think. I do have Optifine, so we can do a little zoomy zoom, if I can land, whoop, yeah. Uh, this took quite a while to design in a creative world, but I think it was time well spent because I'm I'm really happy with it. Uh, I think it looks great, to be honest. <laughs> Don't mean to blow my own trumpet, but uh, yeah, I'm happy with it nonetheless. So the whole idea of this is to sort of be an outpost, as you can see, we've got a sign, welcome to the Badlands Mining Outpost. Um, and it's going to be like a place you can sort of have, you know, be teleported to in the nether and I'm going to put some resources in there for people to use and just sort of grab and a couple other things. So that's what I got to do now because the interior at the moment is uh, not looking great. Ah, what a view. A beautiful piece of land being mined for its resources while it crumbles to the ground. Nothing better, right? Um, <laughs> so I've done the interior and... I figured I'd show you upstairs first because downstairs there's a bit more to it. So this really, there's just two seats which goes onto the balcony where you can... It is actually quite a nice view aside from the parts that just half the mesa is missing. Uh, we'll just skip that part though. So yeah, I've got some seats here. And then over here is basically a room with a bed and an ender chest behind that door. If you need an ender chest, it's here. Don't worry, I have put one in. Um, but I thought I'd pretty it pretty up a bit. So we've got one of the... Uh, that's his loot box, like, or not loot box, the, the heads that he was doing. I'm not actually sure if he's still doing that. I could use some more, though. These are really cool. Um, little table, which you can walk into. <laughs> um, and, yeah, a bed and then some armor. I did gold because we're in the Mesa, so makes sense, right? Um, and just chests if anyone needs them for something. And then if we go upstairs, this part looks cooler from the outside. I'll be sure to show you afterwards, but I've put a campfire up here and... Yeah, this is just another lookout point. Again, looks really cool. Um, well, some sides more than others. <laughs> the ones that haven't been ripped apart, maybe this looks quite nice. Um, but yeah, let me show you downstairs because that's the main sort of thing with this building. So I've got a bunch of chests going on. Uh, I don't even know where to start. So I've got a map. Let's start here with... A secret chest for some reason <laughs> I don't know why I put that there um, but this looks really cool I think especially like these parts I really like it um, and there's the there's the outpost so I don't really know let's let's read the book first so I've done this armor stand thing here with little arrows think it looks kind of neat um, so I've got a book here so it says hello fellow Ripplet welcome to the Badlands mining outpost this is a place where you can rest up and gather some supplies before heading out to mine away the mesa please feel free to take any rockets food torches or ladders that you may need which is what I'm going to fill these up with they're all currently empty at the moment but <laughs> I will get to it I just haven't gone back to the base in a while um let's switch page oh we're already on this page 
it saves the pager on. Oh, that's kind of cool. Um, if you only need a small amount of terracotta, then grab some out of the chest within reason, of course. Happy mining. So, last episode I said, just, I mean, very briefly for like 10 seconds, but I mined out like a huge 100 by 100 square <laughs> in the Mesa while I was waiting on 1.14. So, I have a lot of terracotta that I'm not going to need at all. Um, and this is what, four shulker box worth? I at least have that of every color. So I'm going to fill these up as well as the normal terracotta because I have like a whole chest full of shulker boxes full. <laughs> so I can, I can give away a bit of terracotta if people just need to like grab a little bit instead of, you know, going out, setting up a beacon maybe, and then mining away. If you only need, I don't know, let's say, I don't know, what's, what's a reasonable amount? Nine stacks a row? More than that, I don't really care. Take what you want, really. I'm, I'm not too bothered, but uh, yeah, just make sure you leave some for uh, the fellow fellow people on the server. But yeah, that's the interior done. Um, I'm possibly gonna put the nether portal like underground here. I'm unsure where I'm putting it at the moment, but let me just quickly, there's a skeleton out here. Please don't shoot me. <laughs> why is this gonna be a creeper? I'm not used to all these mobs. Um, yeah, look how cool the smoke looks coming up from the tower there. Really nice little feature. Perhaps the more vigilant of you may notice that my levels have gone down by a good 80 since the last clip, and that's because I've been doing a little bit more armor upgrading. So, last episode we tried to put as many as the project and pr protections <laughs> as we could. Um, I was just missing two projectile protection books and one blast. So, yeah, I've put that on the boots. So, now these three things are looking pretty fantastic. Uh, the chest plate. For some reason can't have projectile on i don't know why but i'm not gonna go ahead and make a new one just for the sake of that i rarely wear it anyway so yeah that's what i've been doing as well as this i've done a little bit of landscaping around the building i think it looks quite nice oh and a giant bridge for some reason i thought i did that last clip uh i'm not really too over keen on it i think it looks okay i wanted to add some more detail to the support beams down here but I tried and it looked worse so yeah I don't know I think it's all right though let me know your opinion on it I can always change something if you guys have any ideas uh, it's a little awkward to get to but I didn't want to extend it all the way over there and this can be destroyed at any point so yeah this is fine um, go up here it should all be spawn proof but it goes right dead center into the entrance which I really like so uh, yeah, up here I've changed the floor pattern around, or not pattern, but it's not just terracotta anymore. It's got some coarse dirt, some grass, which actually looks really nice with the other blocks. Usually I hate this type of grass because it's not like luscious green, but it goes really well. Um, and then we've got some brown concrete powder. And if I can find one, yes, a mushroom block here, which kind of goes well, I think. Adds a little, little bit of extra contrast, slightly different block palette or block color to these ones i don't really know what i'm talking about i uh, got these little custom trees that i was gonna do dead trees originally but i decided against that because as you can see <laughs> trees actually do grow in the mesa so it made sense to have leaves got some bushes around the house um thought i had a creeper then i'm good some ferns and some dead bushes and yeah, down here is where the nether portal is going to go. Haven't set it up yet because I haven't done the tunnel, so I don't really know how it's going to go in the nether. I will get to that later on. That's none of my worries right now. Uh, but yeah, it's it's looking quite nice up here. I do quite like it. If you guys have any other suggestions of what I could build up here, then let me know. I was going to add some water, but it didn't seem like it made sense in the mesa. So yeah, I went ahead and didn't do that. So if you fly south from the Mesa Outpost, you will find yourself in a desert. And this is actually where I come to get my sand. And I've got a little bit of a secret to tell you. So I came here because it made sense next to the Mesa, uh, the Mesa mining area. I figured the desert mining area would be the closest desert, which is this one. Um, until eventually one day, I don't know whether I'm going to be able to find it. Basically, Mad Cat's base is right next to this desert. Uh, over here, if I remember properly. It's really cool looking. Um, and admittedly, Madcat hasn't been online in a long time because, you know, we're real people. We have jobs and lives and families and such. Um, I still nonetheless felt bad about destroying the land right underneath him. Um, but I do want to set up a desert outpost, similar to the Mesa one. Basically, same sort of thing, just 
yeah, a place to go for it. Um, but I'm just going to make sure I do it over this way a little bit so it's at least not right on his doorstep. Floating blocks of coarse dirt, floating blocks of coarse dirt. You are so magical. I don't know how Mad Cat's doing this. There's obviously some sort of black magic involved. Um, anyway, guys, so if we do a little takeoff, hopefully I can fly because the service build being a little weird today. Um, you can see we've got a building here and it's a little bit smaller than the Mesa one. I'll, I'll say that for certain. Um, but I like it just as much. It's really kind of cute <laughs> in a way. So, uh, yeah, as you can see, I'm quite far away from my cat space. You can sort of catch it in the render distance. Um, but I really like this. It's kind of like similar uh, building shape as the Mesa one. You know, two buildings sort of attached to the tower. Um, except on a lot smaller of a scale. And there's not really too much going on. It's literally just sandstone and a bunch of spruce stuff but I think I really like it. It's simple but looks quite good in my opinion. Um, so that's what the outside's looking like and I most certainly didn't get carried away and just do the interior without remembering to cut so yeah I'm gonna cut now and definitely not come back in a couple of seconds. Oh would you look at that the uh, the interior's done now so this is what the inside's looking like. Uh, yeah I kind of got carried away and just finished it all plus there isn't really too much going on in here in comparison to the Mesa so yeah not not as much to show you basically but we've just got a chest here. Um, I'm going to fill that with supplies when I bring all the stuff over. The book that basically says the exact same thing except I've replaced terracotta with sand and Mesa with desert <laughs> basically. Um, got a map here not quite as impressive as the mesa it's it's very sandy around here and you can't really even see the house or the outpost building uh i've got some barrels instead of chests which i think looks kind of cool i'm going to fill these with sand and i really like the floor design actually i've got uh this is smooth sandstone slabs apparently look at me doubling up on the floor um and then these are upside down sandstone stairs which is why it's got that pattern there so adds a bit of texture to the floor I think looks quite nice. Um, I haven't thought where the end portal is going to go. I'm thinking I might just do it underground here maybe have like a trap door downwards or something. I'm not sure. Um, up here we've got a chest probably won't put anything in here and an ender chest. Out here a little seat in place to come and have a drink and relax and stare at some sand. <laughs> um, and then out here is the bed and this is campfires. I think it, can I get up? Probably not. No, it's uh, extinguished campfires and I think it looks really cool for like a roof design. Kind of looks better from the outside. Um, and then we've got the bed obviously. So yeah, and then up here I've got the campfire, of course, the lit one, which uh, I, I just can't get enough of these smoke particles. <laughs> They're really cool. I do like them a lot. Uh, yeah, as you can see, looks looks better from the outside. But uh, yeah, nice little, oh God, you can see flying's a bit scary today uh yeah I, I like this one it's it's simple and not quite as <laughs> grand as the mesa but nonetheless it's uh it's a good little outpost is this not just the most protective moat you've ever seen in your life i mean look at this there is no way through you try and you just instantly drown um <laughs> i guess let's look at the underwater first so we've just got some seagrass and sea pickles and some sandstone variants to add a little bit of texture some slabs as well uh, yeah, the, the tiniest little moat, <laughs> which is actually doing a good job at blocking the mobs going across. Um, and apparently I cannot get enough of the extinguished campfires because I have used them once again for their, well, for not their purpose. <laughs> um, I, they just look so good as a little bridge. Uh, and then on the, I don't really know whether to call it an island or not. On this bit of sand, <laughs> we have some dead bushes, some sugar cane with some string on top to stop it growing, and same with the cactus. Yeah, nothing really too much going on, but it's simple and effective, and I like it. I will get rid of this work in progress sign at some point. <laughs> I'm just sort of, probably, I'll probably take it down once I fill all the barrels and all the chests back at the mesa up and all of that stuff. Um, I did end up putting the end portal down here, so... It's sort of got like its own little sandy cave, which I think looks quite nice. I've chucked some of the creeper head blocks in, I think four sort of hidden away, which looks kind of cool. Um, but you will notice that once again, this is not lit because, uh, yeah, we need, to, we need to sort this out right now. Okay, so I have been doing some stone placing and netherrack digging, and you're just going to have to take my word for it that this tunnel is very long. I'm not going to be able to take off, so it's no point in even trying, but... 
yeah, we've got the tunnel all carved out and ready to play some blocks, so I guess it's uh, it's tunnel time. That was a good zoom in. Yes, tunnel time. Let's go. Whoa, even more. <laughs> This may sound kind of strange, but I really like the process of making a nether tunnel. I don't really know what it is about it, maybe I just like the grind, uh, but I find it really kind of enjoyable and relaxing, <laughs> so I've been having fun doing this, and as you can tell, well you can't really, but I, I've finished, uh, it kind of looks like it goes on forever. Uh, but first of all, I'll say we're using this projector idea that I stole from Carl, uh, Carl Rides, which he did on his tunnel, which I've pretty much used on all of mine, as you can tell. Double zombie spawner. Um, the sea lantern in the item frame kind of looks like a projector. And then this is just some armor stand magic to make it invisible. Uh, the data pack is winters, which, uh, yeah, really cool. I use it so much. Uh, but anyway, yes, the tunnel. This is what I've done. I've done four of the layers of, a, uh, of terracotta. So brown, orange, yellow, and normal terracotta. There is still white and light gray, but... I didn't want to make it two extra blocks tall, <laughs> but I think these four go quite well together. We've got about a million acacia logs in this <laughs> in this place. It was uh, not very fun trying to get all of those trees chopped down. I literally deforest an entire savanna biome. So, you know, that was fun. Um, but this goes on for quite a while and I would fly, but as you can tell from the rubber banding, I'm having some lag issues. So let's fast forward a little bit. And eventually we come to the nether portal, which is now all linked up and takes you to the uh, Badlands outpost. Thankfully it doesn't link with the other one, it all works fine. You're just going to have to trust me, I'm not going to show you. Because <laughs> we'll spend about five minutes waiting to uh, connect to the other side. But if you just walk on through the other side, you will see it changes up the design a bit. Um, to the desert tunnel, which similar, well exactly the same sort of... I'd, uh, design maybe just different blocks used got some trapdoors with some sea lanterns behind uh, literally just sandstone and spruce but I think it actually looks kind of nice in a way the strip logs especially and uh, yeah some little buttons which do nothing or maybe one of them does something hmm who's gonna who's gonna waste their time and press all two stacks of buttons that I placed I wouldn't if I were you that doesn't exist or does it um, <laughs> so, uh, no, it doesn't. Don't do it. It'll be a waste of time. Um, what I need to do now is go get a bunch of terracotta from back at the base and then also dig up a bunch of sand so we can fill all those barrels because at the moment I certainly do not have enough sand to fill up all of them. Okay, I now have all of the barrels filled to the brim with sand as well as the little chest over here filled with supplies. And the same goes for the Mesa Outpost, all these double chests completely filled with terracotta and I still have plenty left over at the base if I ever need to use it. Uh, not that I can really ever so see myself using like brown or yellow terracotta, but yeah, I got it if I want it. Uh, I've also filled up the supply chests in the middle, every type of rocket, so take whichever you please. And I don't really know why I did ladders, to be honest. They're not exactly very helpful, it's just I kind of need, needed another item to... Uh, yeah, make it symmetrical. So maybe you won't use them, but they're there if they're needed. Uh, you may also be wondering why I have a barrel and 10 stacks of obsidian in my inventory. That's because after I've finished ep this episode, I'm on my way over to Albany's base to deliver them to him, in case you were curious. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's all filled up. We can probably take these down now because this episode goes out in about three days. So yeah, they are no longer under construction. So anyway guys, that's going to be it for this one. I hope you did enjoy it. Let me know what you think of the outpost. It was a little bit of a different episode and I gotta say I really enjoyed doing these types of builds. It's not often I get to do something like this so I've had a bunch of fun. Look at that skeleton over my shoulder. Thinking he's so sneaky. I'll come kill you in a minute. Don't you worry. Uh, yes, anyway guys, thank you ever so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy it and I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.